Two machine gun accessories were tested at the Maneuver Battle Lab for their capabilities in dampening the system's recoil effect on mounted optics, and thereby extending optic life. With this enhanced capability, officials examined the benefits of such recoil mitigation and its ability to enhance target acquisition and engagements. And first up was the Cadex recoil rail on the M249 and M240 saw, shooting up to 800 meters with tripod and bipod mounts. Each iteration from 4 to 800 meters was a timed event to see if the Cadex improved transitioning between targets. We also collected the hit-miss data from the tower. Recoil rail is basically a Picatinny rail with a buffer system in the bottom. Um, it has two springs that allows it to travel uh, half inch forward or rear and to reduce the MP overall impact to the hard base of the electro-optic. Just over six inches long and weighing in at less than half a pound, this modified Picatinny rail fits an array of optic devices. When you put your electro-optics on it, whether it be a red dot sight, thermal imaging sight, or a night vision device, while that's on the weapon system, this will help alleviate and reduce by approximately one-third of the recoil from the weapon system into the actual uh, sight or optic itself, and thus giving it a longer life cycle. Soldiers then moved to Ruth Range, where the 50 cals and Mark 19s offered further testing for the solo mount. Also known as the berm and in use with the Marines since 2011. This device uses a hydraulic buffer between the base and optic and can absorb up to 88% of peak recoil force. We shot tripod mounted uh, from 400 to 800 meters and bipod from 1 to 400 meters. With uh, the buffering system, it enables them to put their face up there, see a good field of view, and engage targets accurately. Data collected from this experiment will be analyzed to determine if soldiers were better able to transition between targets, giving them increased lethality on the battlefield. Shooting left, shooting left. Melissa Bell, Fort Benning TV.